as to who's going to be number five. It's between these two. It is on. Darius Targetus, the Viking, denied. Worthy Dion turns the corner, layup line. So Worthy getting started early here for the Dutch. Janis, that is light work for him. Light work in the light box. That's a grown man making a grown man's move. Straight facts. Kyle Montgomery, AK the voice of 3X3. With the Dutchman, Bonds Rosendahl, the mountain. Mm -hmm. with, with no bias, by the way. You're, not, you're completely right. We're not rooting for anybody. Just calling the game. That goes for Boss as well. So this 10 minute sprint has started. Jan Driesen, who gave Netherlands a huge boost in their semifinal win over Mongolia. He will start this possession for the Netherlands. Two Olympians on the floor. In Vanderhorst and Slopter. Dimes offline. Jalkis now with a chance to work on Driesen. Decides to give it up. Vingelis. He will elevate. Goes off the window. Vingelis just too big. And a push on Slopter. Trying to prevent the, the post move from Vingelis who will check out. Yeah, that's not a bad foul. Bukele's had position. He was trying to establish a path towards the basket, and Arvin just kind of shoved him out of the way. Here we go, Tarvidis. Jalgis can't get the hook to go. Tarvidis, nice spin. Great recovery defense from Worthy. Got a foul call or a kick ball? A kick ball. That's what it looked like to me. Yep. Kick ball before the, the trip. But look again. First, that's two blocks in one possession for Worthy. It's not just the offense, it's the defense. He is well rounded like a beer belly. 1 1. Dresen. Oh, what a dish from Dimes. Drizzy will finish it off. Transition. Offense for Lithuania. They cannot connect. Another look. Been nice if Dreesen would have finished that off on the first catch, but hey, he's working on his offensive rebound stats, I think. He's padding the numbers. 2-1 contest. Oh. Bukelis will track it down. Bukelis, you have got to be kidding me. The Lithuanian is out of this world. Check him out. Bukelis, the big fella, tracks it down, and he hits that one from the outer limits. That's a prayer that just went down. Worthy, getting shifty. Worthy. Spin comes up empty. Bukelis will hand it off. Lithuania trying to get some payback from yesterday. Jalgis, that doesn't pay off for two range. Worthy, we'll get it cleared with Slopter. Slopter, all day long, no good. Jalgis uses the screen. That's the switch that they want. And Worthy decides to foul. So they are going to try to exploit uh, Worthy in the post when they can. Particularly if they get Bucalis on that slip. Dreesen's probably the best hope to stop him down here. So they'll screen away. They've all jumbled up. And a hold on dimes. So not, not the most well-designed offensive possession for Lithuania. They kind of get bailed out with a foul there. Yeah, but it shows how physical they get because DeMeo is not a, a small guy. They get him inside, get position on him, and he has to foul to stop. Oh, that's a battle of the bigs right there. And Bukalis is called for the travel. Credit Dreesen who will get a well-deserved rest. But Bukalis trying to bully Big Drizzy. It's the final, ladies and gentlemen. 
Last hit minute sprint here at the Utsunomiya Universality Olympic Qualifying Tournament. He is shooting like Cupid. You gotta love that. Arvin Slochter continuing his heat stroke for the Netherlands. Blau from the left wing. Round comes from Gellis. Gellis. That one goes back. Dimes. Uh -oh. Lost his footing. Now Pugelis. Oh, get over here. Oh, stay over there. Missed it bad. Now Pugelis is called for the foul. It's the third on Lithuania. That was things turned around. Worthy tried to seal out the bigger Pukelis, and he had to use a foul to stop Worthy from scoring. It was a lot smaller. Right. You don't think of Worthy as a post-scoring threat. Nah, but that was a good seal. Oh, Jalgis goes down. You see it in Worthy get physical. And official Marcos wants to take a closer look at this because Jalgis... I just think he took a shot in the diaphragm. You know, you get the wind knocked out of you. Mm -hmm. But, hey, it's the final, man. <laughs> this is going to be a physical game. And again, wow. Worthy just stopped and tried to create position. I don't think a lot happened there, to be honest with you. This happens a lot. Offensive foul, I think. Yeah, I mean, that, that it might be the right call if you take a look at this closely. Well, from that angle, kind of hard, but you can see that uh, official Mikalides is, is demonstrating the worthy. And they think he threw a little elbow there. And that's, that's what's being discussed. So that's why the offensive foul was called. So uh, possession over to Lithuania. Netherlands in front. Yesterday it was the Netherlands victory. Not, not yesterday, actually. Two days ago. That was two days ago. 21-18. The Dutch were able to outlast Lithuania. All right, we are back to it. Three minutes into the men's final. Target is patient. He just pressed the pause button one time. Dreesen, not a problem over Vingelis. Oh, they leave Vingelis. And fortunate for the Netherlands, they uh, avoid disaster. Wide open two from Chirunis. That ball is tied up. That'll be Netherlands ball. Fondor Horse will come in. Worthy will check out. It is time for a media timeout anyway, so both teams will get a rest here. In a game that uh, has been as good as advertised so far, a close contest. Just like the pool face game, right? That was close all the way down the wire. This one, same way. And I, I have to say, it's been the role players, if you want to call somebody a role player in 3x3, that have been stepping up. Young Lisa underneath the basket. You know, Garvidal's had himself a couple of scores there. So the, the unsung heroes, let's call them that. Because you know, I don't think role player is a good word in this sport. The unsung heroes have shown up. I like either one. There's nothing wrong with role. I like role players. So if you can star in your role for your team, I think that the, this, that's perfectly fine. They want to get it down to the post office. And now it's Dimes' turn to attack Vangelis. Dreesen with the step and the scoop! Dreesen is pumped up. I don't think I've ever seen him that excited. But a quick move from Big Drizzy. He extends with that right hand. And the Lions are roaring with a two-point lead. Dreesen, yes. Young's had an extremely good day. Oh, Worthy gets beat. Chalvis can't score it. Now Worthy with the hezzy. 
That man is quicker than a meerkat. Crafty move from Worthy. But now he's in trouble. Uh-uh. Ain't no reinforcements to help. Count it, too. Not the smartest foul from Worthy. Either you commit it early or you get out the way and, and start running your transition offense. Am I right or wrong? You're completely right. This is not using fouls as a resource. This is using fouls out of frustration. You want to foul him as soon as he gets that position inside the uh, bucket there before he takes the shot. That is the sixth on the Netherlands. And we'll put Pugelis on the line. A knockdown free throw shooter. Narrows the lead to two. Slaughter swings it. Dimes getting shifty with it. But the stroke was broke. Find a horse. For now that, that air guitar is on the shelf. He usually keeps that uh, until the last few minutes of the game, doesn't he? So our two officials, Edmund Ho and Marcos Micalides, gonna try to keep these guys under control. On the horse defense, Miguelis. They don't get Tarvidis on the cut. They do get it out to Tarvidis beyond the two-point arc. Tarvidis making a move on Slaughter. Travel. That is a travel. Good defense by the Dutch as Arvin stayed in front of Tarvi does the whole way. He took three steps to get two feet behind the two-point arc. That's too much. And the man in handcuffs. It was dominatrix. Pause. in <laughs> to the crib. No. Got it back, though. So it's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, that looked a little odd to me, too. That was a hop step and then some. That was a hop step and a half. Turnover, Lithuania. Netherlands don't have any fouls to give. Gallus coming around. Well, Gallus has two options. One of them is the five, but Gallus on the cut. Great vision from Bugelis. Now it's Worthy with Bugelis on an island. He will miss it, Worthy. He finishes what he started. 9-7. Jalgis going to the pirouette. Thing of beauty in a 9-8 game. Now Bugelis, no choice but to foul. So as big of an advantage as he has in the post against Worthy, Worthy has that same advantage on the perimeter. Yeah, and Jalga's lucky he hit the shot there because Bukela's had position on Worthy for a score, and Worthy couldn't foul, right? The Dutch are at the limit, but Jalga's managed to get that one down. Got it. Got a foul on Green. So now Lithuania is equal Netherlands in the foul category. Six apiece. Here we go now. Past the midway point. And a one point game. Dimes that pass at the feet of Dreesen. Not a whole lot he could have done with that one. You Turned the, over, yeah. You see the Lithuanians double team a lot in this game, which is something that you don't often see in 3x3. Worthy going towards the basket sees two people in front of him. Di Mayo in the post sees two people in front of him. The Viking going to work. Stop and go, and he will flush it like Tony G. Nine up. Ooh, slot it. You had the right idea. Dimes couldn't track it down. So in back-to-back -back Netherlands possessions, the passes have been a little bit off the mark. But here's the red light, green light from the Viking. Who gets up to get down. 421. Chalkis. He ain't bad in the post either. Now Worthy got that thing on a string. 
He's on a streak to the rack. Now Chalgis, he will charge Worthy. Worthy able to defend him well, held him off. Slapped her, bodying up with Chalgis. Out to Worthy, late in the shot clock now. Worthy with two, with one, no. Rebound stays with the Netherlands. Fresh 12. Now Slaughter will let it go from deep. That was longer than the tan top. 12-10. Quick response off of Bukalis' head. One point game. Teresa. Uh-oh, Slopter, he's gonna set him up for a double date. Bang, bang, 14-11, Netherlands now. A clash of the Titans underneath. We can assist too much on that. So here we go, 14-11. Netherlands have been able to get a little bit, a little bit of breathing room here. But a three-point lead, not safe at all here as we head down the stretch. No, not save at all, but they again have been able to find the kick out now because there's a lot of bodies in the paint for Team Lithuania. They are double teaming on shots. They are heading, uh, they're trying to pick off players who turn their back towards the rest of the field. Last possession, that accounted to two Dutch points. What a game so far. As you got two countries who have proven to be perennial powers trying to get an Olympic ticket here in Utsunomiya. Back and forth, the entire game. We're under three minutes to go, and the Netherlands have managed to get a three-point lead. Fando Horst and Pukelis. Look at, look at official Mikalidis getting in between them. Having some fun, but I think they get the point. Settle down, fellas. Both players are laughing too. Tarvidis, the Viking. No. Quick ball movement from the Dutch. Big Drizzy. Up top. Slopter. Drizzy scores it. Two possession game. 234. Tarvidis, relentless on his attack. Young Lisa just has had the best of days so far. Take a look as he catches this, finishes over the taller Pukelis. And that's what the Dutch need. They need everybody to step up for them to get this win. Now, Lithuania just got a nice layup out of Tarkadas. Can he show up? He hasn't hit a two-point shot today. He's coming of age. Oh, Drizzy. This is the big Drizzy shot. One of the best games of Dreesen's young career. Oh, Olympic yeah. ticket on the line. Look at the hustle, it's bodies on the floor. Who's gonna come away with it? A jump ball. And I believe that the possession will be awarded to the Netherlands. I haven't seen this much fire from the, from the Netherlands team in a long time. Now you're completely right, they are fully focused, came out strong today earlier, and they brought the same amount of focus and energy to this game. Oh, a challenge on the Lithuanians. I don't know how the referees are gonna determine this one because there were four bodies on the floor, everybody grabbing at the Wilson. Well, there was no foul call. Uh, yeah, everybody grabbing at the, at the Wilson. If the shot clock, this horn hadn't sounded, then, oh, a ball clearing challenge. Ah, oh, that's what we got. Mm -hmm. So, that's interesting. Yeah. I, I had missed that one. Me too. It happens sometimes. Wow, Boz, what a tournament. Just from the first game down to now the very last game, high level of competition. It's been incredible. It's been a, an incredible week here in Utsunami. We'll get to that, though. High octane.
It is lit here inside the light queue. Hype worthy. He's a visionary. That floater was softer than Roseanne, son. 17-12. Tarvinus, the Viking, no. Vingalis can't save it. Worthy. He saves it to Vanderhorst. Vanderhorst floats in. High off the glass. So, look how this play develops. First, the hustle from Worthy, and then it's Dimes with a bank deposit. I have to say, incredible awareness by Dimes by getting two feet outside of that two-point arc because Worthy didn't establish position. He was in the air when he caught that ball. Michaelis called for the offensive foul. Minute 30 to go. Coach Arden Roye is over there losing his mind. His team is up six. Worthy. Not that time. We got a minute 18. Oh, the active hand from Slaughter. Foul on Dimes. That's the seventh. That's what you don't need right now is the Netherlands. And this is what Lithuania wants. Stop the clock, get two easy scores from the free throw line. And they're not easy. I know we've jinxed this a couple of times now. But look, they're easier looks than trying to finish up and, uh, up and over a player. Two clean looks at the line. Clean, that's the word. Nothing uh, nothing easy at this juncture in the game. These, these players are tired as can be. Tarvid is here. Can he compose himself? Little much on that first free throw attempt. Tarvidis with another chance here. And Lithuania. They are running out of chances with a minute 14. They got a five point deficit to try to make up here. Worthy drives, kicks, Dreesen, Hezzy. That one doesn't go. Jalgas with the board now over to Bukelis. Bukelis with the step back created enough space to get a good look. He airmails it. The Viking buries it like treasure as Lithuania pulled within three. Vanderhorst. Whoa! Oh, that's most certainly a whistle. Vanderhorst. He hops right up. They might have bumped head on, heads on that one. See, Atarvid is still down. Dimes are seeing birds at the moment. Atarvid is. But uh, what a collision. Hoping that uh, Atarvid is okay. Found a horse. He's got to clear the cobwebs out pretty quick because he's got two big free throws to shoot for the Netherlands. Dimes can make it a three possession game from the free throw stripe with 36 seconds. That doesn't leave a lot of time on the clock for Lithuanians to make a comeback. Not at all. Second free throw is no good, especially if they get this rebound. And that they do. Netherlands hustle it down. Vanderhorst stops on a dime. Oh, no. Call for the travel. Bukilis, over. Tarvidis, high arc, no. Loose ball to Tarvidis, another chance, no. 
Out of bounds, it'll go. 12 seconds left. This game is in the books. They're gonna wait for the celebration. Boz is speechless. So here we go, Hype Worthy with the rocking hand. Final 10 seconds of the men's final. Hype has it bumped away, it's stolen. One last shot as the Netherlands say au revoir to Lithuania. And bonjour to Penny. They got the ticket. They got the golden ticket. Netherlands are going back to the Olympics. Book them four flights straight over to France. Lithuania will get another chance in Deberson at the last OQT. But this ticket belongs to the Dutch, who were too much as they beat Lithuania again. They might be on to something. Netherlands will get the fifth spot in the Olympic Games. Congratulations to them.